Здравствуйте. In uh, 1996, uh, Milano criteria for liver transplantation were developed. If you look at the disease-free survival, uh, radiological assessment in my hospital, in the use of Milano criteria within the patients, within the uh, criteria, our patients have good five-year uh, overall survival and relapse-free survival of 95%. According to the California uh, scale, also very high rates, approximately 90% and above. So the BCLC staging system also um, uh, promotes chemo embolization as um, compassionate treatment uh, in patients with intermediary stages. Uh, according to radiology and patho pathology data, patients with intermediary uh, stages after liver transplantation achieve good five-year uh, survival, approximating 80%, uh, excuse me. When tra uh, liver transplantation was performed by Milano scale, uh, many patients uh, could not uh, receive transplants and they uh, passed away. Even when the liver transplantation is uh, provided outside of the Milano scale, the result can be good enough. Uh, when it comes to the DLT, liver transplantation from the uh, deceased donor, we are trying to experiment with uh, expanded standards. In Asia, LDLT, transplantation from live donor, uh, is um, provided more frequently, uh, frequently than D, uh, DTLT. If the uh, lesion is over uh, eight centi uh, six centimeters and uh, uh, the, uh, not, not, not uh, many uh, nodes affected, then the um, uh, relapse-free survival accounts for 84%, which five-year um, survival, uh, relapse-free survival accounts 84%, which is quite good level. Uh, then uh, vascular stage uh, prognostic factors, uh, this is vascular invasion grade and uh, satellitosis. But uh, it's quite difficult to de determine them before transplantation. So when we select transplant, we first of all take into account tumor size, tumor number, and AFP. In France, AFP model has been used in order to detect the high and low risk groups, but they consider that despite the, the Milano criteria, uh, and if AFP is above 1,000, the prognosis is unfavorable. Even when this model, uh, AFP model, uh, were applied in Italy, they consider AFP as one of the paramount factors when selecting patients outside of Milano. This particular model was also uh, piloted in the Asian population, and we consider FP to be a very important marker, even if the patients corresponded to Milano criteria or not. When we use FP model and determine the high and low risk groups, we can provide a good prognosis for uh, liver transplantation. And, uh, our hospital, as well as the Seoul National uh, Cancer Hospital, um, developed the moral uh, uh, scale with PIFCA uh, 2 and AFP prognostic factors. And in younger patients in, in Milano scale, the, uh, there were good prognosis after liver transplantation. 
but also there is a big difference uh, in the strategy between West and East. The Western countries usually uh, provide the DLT-based uh, transplantation. The waiting list and allocation at the moment are of great importance. That is why for the assessment and, trans for, and transplantation, they use Milano criteria, and usually they do transplantation in the beginning of treatment, as the Milano criteria are the basic principle of distribution. All the treatment must be focused on the downstaging or bridging in the East. Uh, LDLT is uh, much higher, and the living donor is very important. As it is done uh, from the living donor, the patients with HCC uh, on the liver transplantation, uh, we uh, use expanded indications. And first and foremost, it's local regional therapies, and then uh, it comes first and then transplantation. And the most important purpose, disregarding where in the east or in the east, in, in the west or in the east, is to improve the survival of our patients. Also, there is a huge uh, difference between hepatologist approach and surgeons. From the viewpoint of hepatologists, the DLT is good, but I suppose that in ill DLT we have certain limitations related to the living donor selection. After LDLT, we also have high mortality and morbidity. And that is why we recommend resection or local regional therapy. So the uh, um, drawbacks of this method is the, uh, is the delay in liver transplantation. The patient uh, needs to wait for the transplant. Uh, subsequently, it can result in patient's death. On the other hand, surgeons consider liver transplant is uh, best treatment and they try to provide it as soon as possible. But after LDLT, especially take into account the uh, quality of life uh, and also ethic questions related to the live donors, the prognosis on the relapse um, development is uh, quite uh, bad. So that's a question whether LDLT at early stage of treatment should be provided. It's an ethical discussion. It's an ethical debate still. Not very long ago, in the medical center of Samsung, we detected that patients with the best uh, uh, treatment outcomes or the best response to treatment after liver trans before transplantation uh, have best uh, outcomes of liver transplantation itself. And uh, thanks to TACE, uh, trans uh, arterial chemoembolization, the five-year survival uh, patients with CR and PR uh, accounts for 80%, which shows uh, very good uh, treatment outcomes. That is why our hospital looks at uh, treatment opportunities before liver transplantation, and then we take a uh, decision on whether liver transplantation is reasonable or not. Pati patients with um, HCC, we need uh, uh, sort of, but it's a compassionate treatment mainly. In Korea, approximately 60% of patients with untreated uh, liver cancer, especially patients with PVTT, 60% show low results with a median survival of approximately three months with um, absence of treatment. The mean survival with PVTT uh, approximates uh, two to four months, and the forecast, uh, the prognosis is very unfavorable. So the uh, reason of poor prognosis in patients with portal vein uh, tumor thrombosis means that uh, comes because the uh, uh, the um, pressure in the portal vein is increased uh, as well as impaired uh, blood flow. And also there is ascites, uh, liver coma, and um, subsequently the liver transplantation is not applicable in patients with uh, HCC and PVTT. In Korea, we conducted a um, multicenter uh, full-fledged study with a mean uh, median survival after uh, liver transplantation uh, in HCC patients accounted for 8.10 um, months, uh, but the median overall survival accounted for 20 months, which demonstrated better results than in other approaches to treatment. According to the Samsung Medical Center, a two-year uh, survival among patients with PTT after radiotherapy before liver transplantation and downstaging and uh, further LDLT accounted for 80%, which uh, 
uh, is much better th uh, than the efficacy of other treatment modalities. Patients with late stage PVTT also can undergo different treatment um, approaches. It's uh, uh, TACE, uh, sorafenib, uh, BSC. Uh, and uh, radiotherapy, but the mean survival does not surpass one year. When there is low transplant in PVTT patients, especially if there is treatment before uh, treatment downstaging, such as RT, the results are pretty good. That is why these patients can uh, selectively uh, be seen as uh, liver transplant candidates. Before liver transplantation, there may be uh, several models of HCC relapses. Uh, whether it is model before transplantation or post transplantation factors uh, between different patients, individual patients and groups, there are uh, certain um, differences. That's why uh, modeling it is quite difficult uh, because exact prognosis is still a problem. You need to take into account uh, several factors and create a prognostic model. This standard is uh, to uh, of um, Milano criteria is a strict. It is strict criteria. And that's why there are certain patients who we provide a liver transplantation outside of Milano criteria with a good prognosis. Apart from that, we have been developing different models with the use of uh, tumor markers, AFP and PIFCA2. So we consider that in liver transplantation uh, in patients with good response to treatment, even with bulky tumors and uh, PVTT presence, we can expect good results. Uh, subs but uh, in the long run, we consider that individual approach with the use of genetic factors can be uh, influential over the uh, liver transplant criteria. Now, I would like to talk about the uh, transplantation programs in Korea as such and in our hospital. There are many patients on the waiting list in South Korea, but brain uh, death approximately 500 per year, and the liver transplantation is approximately 1.5 thousand. If you look at the liver transplantation rates in South Korea, the TLT accounted for 390 cases and LDLT 100 and, uh, 1,010 um, uh, cases. So the TLT is much lower. If you look at the number of liver transplantations annually, starting from the first liver transplantation back in 1996, we performed approximately 150 surgeries per year. And if you look at uh, our hospital, patients with HCC uh, and liver transplantation account for 50% from all the liver transplantations. And if you look at the time of surgery uh, in the DLT, then up to the year 2000, it accounted for 10 to 12 hours. After 2010, it uh, reduced to eight. In 2018-2019, uh, mean surgery time is four hours, which is safe and rapid. When it comes to LDLT, the time for the donor account for six hours, but after uh, 2010, it accounted for 4.5 hours. When it comes to the recipient, also uh, it was reduced, and in 2016, the surgery was uh, finished uh, within six hours. When it comes to the success rate for liver transplantation, then in uh, 2008, successful transplantation uh, accounted for 97, 98%. So it was uh, done without uh, risk for the patient. And uh, ELT without uh, HCC, uh, the surgery is safe and without lateral outcomes. The most important is that in HCC patients, especially in uh, liver tumors, we provide approximately 70% of laparoscopic surgeries. Thanks to the laparoscopic experience, such uh, surgeries are provided by the liver donors uh, starting from uh, 2017. Over 50% of patients were uh, done laparoscopically in 2017. In 2020, all the donors actually underwent laparoscopic interventions. If you look at the efficacy of liver transplantation in the Samsung Medical Center, then five-year survival among adult and pediatric patients show great results, 84 for adults and 95 for children. And also approximately 90% within with five-year survival of patients without uh, liver cancer, which is a very high, uh, high rate. Starting from 2016, 
survival of patients uh, increased. So three years survival for LDLT accounts for 95.3 percent, but three years survival for the DLT accounts for 80 percent. And the result of a reduction of the DLT uh, is uh, that I am the LD patients after uh, amounts for 40 percent. As in the pre uh, surgical the condition of patients is, is quite mm, bad. They die after transplantation, so that is why three year survival uh, is within 80%. It's quite difficult to find a liver donor when we uh, do LDLT. That is why we uh, consider that we can uh, do um, AVO incompatible liver transplantation. So the most important uh, factor is that uh, there can be uh, anti, uh, antibody mediated rejection AMR or uh, impairment of the uh, of the bile duct which can result in graft failure and um, um, and death of patient uh, then the whole liver will undergo necrosis or the duct will be impaired and the patient will die so um, the medical center Samsung um, uh, does a liver transplantation of ABO incompatible patients starting from 2010. Since then, we uh, increased the uh, opportunity of live donors. So starting from 2010 to 2020, 20% of all the LDLT are ABO incompatible. If you look at the five-year survival of these patients, then ABO incompatible liver transplantations account for 80 uh, um, 81.9 percent, and uh, the compatible ones are 86 uh, percent, and uh, generally speaking, they are without any particular difference. Out of my experience, I started working with ABO incompatible patients starting with 2014, and I was recognized in several um, as an uh, in several um, international journals. Uh, patients usually restore within one year after uh, such transplantation or sarcopenia. Uh, patients sometimes cannot uh, recover and they die. So our uh, center also uh, provides a pro rehabilitation program for such patients who allow patients to uh, recover better and to come back to normal social life. The level of survival is the survival rate is significantly improved. Thank you for your attention.